what is up guys welcome back to the channel hopefully you all are having a great start to the week i know my voice sounds crazy um i'm sick so i'm trying to recover from it this is like the first day i can actually talk so bear with me guys i'm gonna sound kind of funny throughout the video but um huge shout out to everyone who donated their hot wheels for the diecast day of giving it is an amazing event that we do annually and it's all thanks to mark over at dots and man diecast and driven dreams.org amazing stuff happening we got a lot of donations in. you can see a bunch of cases we got boxes all over here just lined up ready for delivery the diecast day of giving was on the 14th of october but since the hospital scheduled their drop-off date for the 28th that way they can have all the kids and families there to receive all of this that is why I still have everything. So more to come with that. I'll post pictures um, of the drop off and everything like we did last year. Huge thanks to everyone who donated for this cause. I and mean, we've had these packages for like, I don't know, five days now. But like I said, I've been sick and I haven't been able to do anything. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all of our future videos. But yeah, we got one right here from Hot Rod Man 22 and the other is a trade package between me and Dane. So a huge, huge thanks to both of you. Yeah, I've been wanting to open these, but like I said, I haven't been feeling it. So let's go ahead and open up this bad boy from Hot Rod Man 22 and see what's inside. All right, guys, let's see what we got inside. I kind of sound like the tell them large Marge sent you. That, that's the kind of, that's the vibe I get. So bear with me guys I, I sound horrible but first up guys here we go we got the Dodge Charger from the Hot Wheels race team check it out that's funny I just opened up all of my race team cars and they're actually sitting in I think it's this one right here I opened up all of them from the race team series 1 series 2 even the modern race series um, these two came together in a two-pack exclusive I opened up those and then there's the Dodge Charger right there. So that makes number two. I don't know if he wants to send this in as a racer, but uh, yeah, awesome stuff right there. Big body Mopar. Next up, we have the Porsche Safari. I think this is the exclusive, the GameStop exclusive. Um, but yeah, beautiful blue with the yellow. And of course, the off-road five spokes. But yeah, man, they need to come back out with another variation to this one. Nightburner series for sure. Oh yeah, look, check it out. Another GameStop exclusive. You got the blue 2018 Bentley Continental. Nice. And I don't, I know I have this one, but I don't know if I kept it loose in my GT3 case. I don't know. But man, thank you so much for another one, man. That's awesome. And let's see. Oh, here we go. Got the 2015 Mustang GT. Nice, Muscle Mania. I think I have this one. Not 100% sure. Uh, let's see, yellow, no, no, no. It should be over here. Oh, is it that one? Nope, it's not that one. Not that one. It's a 2015, it's gotta be, it's gotta be right here. But I'm not seeing it. That's the GT350R similar in deco it's kind of confusing similar to the 2015 convertible do i not have this one i don't think i have this one no way <laughs> i cannot believe i do not have this one dude awesome man and that's an old one that's an old release i think 2015 2015 release i did not have that one Let's see. Ooh, Speed Tech. Here we go. Another nitrous oxide logo. Dude, I gotta slap this on a like old bottle and make it look like it's a nitrous bottle. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? Auto World. Ooh, which one could this be? Ooh, here we go. GT500, man. It's in the iconic silver. Do I have this? Okay, I do have this one. We have it right there. So 2021 GT500 carbon fiber track pack. This one's gonna be an opener for sure. I have a red one opened down there. It's gotta get another case for it, but here we go, man. Number two for the collection. Dude, that's awesome. Let's see, 2019 Mustang Coupe. Oh my man. We got the red edition Matchbox. Check that out. Dude, nice. Nice, I do have one down here. It's actually in the, no, it's not down there. Those are the other reds. There it is right there. I should open this up and actually put the black deck lid on there. 
I might do that. I might open up this one. Dude, my man threw a lot of stuff in here. Thank you so much, man. Ooh, here we go. Next up, we got the Cadillac Seville. Nice. It's out of the Hot Wheels 80s. Definitely a beautiful casting. You got the gold over the brown panel. Of course, the lace wheels on there. You know, and the thing I do like is they put the tail lights attached to the interior color. That is one thing they used to do, you know, back in the 90s, early 2000s, was the tail lights and headlights were always attached to the interior somehow, or even the base. And I think it's cool that they did that on this one. So, really nice. And next up, we got the Pagani Waira out of the Exotic series. This is the gold release with the gold 10 spokes. Beautiful. I really got to open up all of my Paganis and create a, uh, a, a jammer for them. Oh, and what's this? We got the running tri bar. Ooh, I wonder if this is a late release or early release. These came on like the new edge Mustangs. So this might be a modern one, but that is awesome. I'm definitely hanging this up somewhere in here. Dude, thank you. All right, check it out. We got the surf crate treasure hunt. Dude, nice. I do have one loose, so I'm gonna keep this one carded for sure, but this is out of the Surf's Up series. So no matter where in the world you're surfing, catch your waves in style with these beach-inspired cars. Here we go, Treasure Hunt logo on the top, North Shore Deco, of course the gold accents. Beautiful, man, thank you. Ooh, check this out, 2007 All-Stars. Ooh, that's a nice Dodge Charger, man. I've never seen this one. Check it out, the windows are completely blacked out. That is nice. Yeah, that is, let's see. Fun fact, 154 of 180. Did you know the 1966 Dodge Charger was the first US production vehicle to have a spoiler? What? David Pearson won the NASCAR Grand National Championship that year with 14 first place finishes while driving one. I did not know that. That is super cool. That is a super cool fun fact right there. That is actually a nice one. That is actually a nice one. So, ooh, we got some Lucy's. Oh, we got a freaking chase. Nice, man. You did not have to throw this one in there. Check it out, man. The Chevy Nomad Gasser. This is the chase piece from Muscle Machines. And this one actually has a sticker on it. I do have mine loose. Um, mine is sitting right there, but awesome one to have carded, man. Dude, thank you. And not only that, he sent the mainline version. And I think this is a gorgeous one. Look at the metal flake in that. Dude, that is nice. I think this one should be the chase. Just look at the, look at how gorgeous that looks, man. Wow, that is nice. Thank you for throwing these in there, man. That is sweet. Opening that one, I'll keep that one carded. And here we go, the Mach 1 with red line wheels. I think I have this one. If not... Dude, that is freaking sweet. So all of my loose Mach 1, there it is right there. So this makes number two, but is there a variation? I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it's the exact same. Nice, I just gotta dust it off a little bit and boom, we got number two for the Mach 1. All right, next up we got the 2015 convertible in red. I do have this one, but man, Extra Mustangs are always a plus. I mean, look at all these are mainly extra loose Mustangs. I reorganized all of that. So there are only Mustangs on display. Dude, this is clean looking. Next up, we have a GT500 convertible and I have never seen this color release. Look at that. That is a super cool color. I don't even know what to call that, but you can see the GT500 stripes are still on there, so it's not a custom paint. I have never seen this before. You gotta let me know what this comes out of or what series. I've never seen that, man. That is awesome. Another new one for the collection. Ooh, here we go. We got the SN95 body style convertible. This looks like a Maisto or something. Uh, it's a 98 Mustang made out of China. I don't know. Oh, but it's a Cobra though. This is a 98 Cobra. So Cobra hood, Cobra front bumper. And of course, yeah, definitely a Cobra Mustang. Nice. I do not have this one. And if I do, um, no, that's not even the same. Yeah, that's just a regular 96 convertible. 
Dude, nice, man. I kind of want to just clean it up, but yeah, 98 Cobra, man. That is sweet. So if you guys didn't know, yeah, the 98 Cobras come with those dual nostril hoods um, and then the round fog lights in the front like that. So I'll post a picture up top so you, so you guys can see. But yeah, 96 to 98 Cobras have that look. I think 95s do, but those have the 5Os in it. And then of course this big boy right here, the number nine. Look at that. This is the Casey Kane. I do have one of these. Um, but it's actually down in here. All of my NASCARs are bubble wrapped. Um, and I just put them at it. There it is right there. Number two, man, a 118 scale, my man. Ooh, check this out. Tattoo Machine Series. You got this beautiful Stutz Blackhawk. Dude, that is nice. Look at that beautiful maroon metallic. Or burgundy. It's more burgundy, but... Man, that is nice. You got the three spokes, metal on metal, and it's on a red car. It's collector number 687. Nice. So a lot of the cars back then had a blue car, and then sometimes they come with this red one on there. And sometimes the same casting comes on two different ones, the red car and the blue car. So always check out your collection, guys. This was actually from Kmart. Man, such a throwback. Four Mustangs and a Fox body. Check this out. Dude, nice. Nice, man. That is awesome. So let's see, what does it say? It's a Yatming Mustang Pace Car. Dude, nice. Oh, there you go. It does say Mustang Pace Car on the back. Dude, that is awesome. Another new Mustang for the collection. It's like a 78, 79. I think it's 79. Dude, awesome. And then we have another... Mustang right here. This is a GT500. Looks like a off-brand. Oh, Sun Toys. Shelby GT500. Nice. Another new Mustang to the collection. So there we go, man. Awesome. Then we got another Matchbox one. This is a police. Oh, this is the Dare. Check that out. That is cool. I've never seen the red version of this. I have a couple of the black ones. You have the black dare up there, and then we have another dare one down here. But I've never seen this color release. That is sweet, man. Nice. It's rough, guys. I know, like, a lot of these cars are rough. But still, I love getting these into the collection because then it's just a time capsule. We got another Mustang right here. Convertible. Completely chopped window. I think I actually have this one in mint condition on card still. I think so with the running horse on the side. Um, if I don't, then yeah, I guess I don't. This is a deco I don't have. I want to say I did, but it's, it's got to be somewhere around here. I know it because I remember this running horse. But here we go. That could be a resto mod. I don't know. And then next up, we got Stock Rod's Mark Martin's Valvoline. Check it out. It's a 32 Ford, I believe. Yep, 32 Ford High Boy. Dude, that is awesome. And then you got the hood just floating off to the side. Definitely a great addition to the Mark Martin collection. This is one of 19,998. So, uh, yeah, and the card's in really good condition. All right, and then check this out. Rusty Wallace's number two. This is a one of 10,000. The Delco Remy Motorsports Rusty Wallace Pro Team Limited Edition. Nice. Dude, that is awesome. And it comes in a box within a box. Dude, that is freaking sweet. And then we have another Rusty Wallace. Check it out. It's the Miller Lite version. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. Love the wings on that, man. That is a super cool variation. Definitely do not have this one. And I like how it has the wall right there on the side. Action Racing. Dude, sweet. And last up, we have a Matchbox Premier. Ooh, Mustang Cobra. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Dude, that is clean. Oh, man, that is clean. Look at that. Beautiful white Cobra, man. Beautiful white Cobra. This is a 95. Check it out. You got the horizontal bars instead of the vertical. Man, I love that interior, man. That two-tone red interior striped seat. 
dude that is beautiful yep this is before the dual nostril hood so this has to be the 95 cobra with the five liter in it god that is nice what a awesome way to finish that box dude that is beautiful i have another cobra from matchbox um and it's sitting right here check that one out all right let's go ahead and put that on top of there move his box off to the side of course we'll get to the trade package between me and dane so let's go ahead and open up that bad boy we gotta get our knife out and let's see what we traded for so dane huge thanks man i appreciate the trade and of course i appreciate you being one of the members of the channel he's been a huge huge supporter since day one along with many others so thank you so much for this trade man i cannot wait to add it to the collection um, hopefully you didn't add any extras. If you did, I definitely appreciate you. All right, here we go. Here we go. 1965 Mustang, dude. Look at that. God, that is gorgeous. Blue metallic white wall real riders and those beautiful white stripes running down the center. Check that out, guys. It says automobile Hot Wheels milestone 2002 dude this is a gorgeous casting dude freaking awesome man before this i had never seen that before and dane sent me a message um asking to trade for it and of course yeah dude thank you so much man we have a loose casting here and two cars right here and i believe he wants to use these for racers check that out man you got the f racer up top in blue with the Hot Wheels race team, beautiful casting. And then followed up by the Nitro Door Slammer. Check that out. Such a cool concept, man. You got the twin charge. I think it's an LS motor. I think they said before um, it was a it was an LS motor in the in that one. But two racers right there for the track, and then a loose one. Let's see what this is. Ooh, here we go. Definitely do not have this one looks a lot different in picture green gt500 right here you got the white stripes gt500 on the bottom of course the purifies with a white ring never seen this one i don't know if it comes out of a multi-pack or not um it's a malaysia base but it doesn't have gt500 on it god dude that is awesome another new mustang added to the collection so here we go guys awesome trade with dane dude thank you so much man this is awesome to add to the collection um i'll send your box out soon i have like nine boxes to send out i'm super behind so i appreciate everyone being so patient with me every single time because i always get behind with trades and all that stuff um yeah i need to just slow down on them so Again, thank you all for being so patient. Dane, thank you so much for the 65 convertible, the GT500, and then, of course, your two racers right here. So at least you got two on the track. Don't know which one you want to race first. I think the Nitro Door Slammer would be a solid first contender. Um, but you let me know which one you want to race under first. And then we got the one from Hot Rod Man 22. Awesome, awesome castings. We got the new 2015 added to the collection. My voice is starting to get all jacked up now. Um, but yeah, another new one to the collection I thought I had, but I don't. Then we got the 95 Cobra from Matchbox, just beautiful. We got the Stutz Black Hawk, we got the Cadillac Seville, some GameStop exclusives. We got the Red Edition, the Pagani Treasure Hunt, just some awesome ones. Another GT500, some Mustangs newly added to the collection, like that GT500 I'd never seen before. Um, then we have another Casey Kane 118 scale big boy. Like I said, guys, I'm still kind of getting over being sick. Um, hopefully this video wasn't too painful for you guys to listen to. But at the same time, I really wanted to get through these packages and see what was inside. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And of course, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts or any info you have in anything we saw in this episode today. And then, yeah. Until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.